was thinking maybe he loved me but i didn't know he didn't love me hi guys welcome back to my channel guys how are you guys doing what's up with you guys so guys it has been long since i just seen that and give you guys a story time so i decided to give you guys to come back with interesting and sweet story i hope you guys enjoy the story time and please if you are new to my channel my name is precious i'm a mommy vlogger i do daily lifestyle vlog and i do sit down talk video like this i hope you stay tuned to my channel and please if you enjoyed this video click that subscribe button down below turn on the bell notifications so again notified anytime i upload a new video and please follow me on instagram i'm here to give you guys a story time of my first heartbreak break up now national cake it go touch everybody you don't touch my guy and they wait for my own <laughs> so guys i'm just here to give you guys a story time of my first outbreak how you get a receiver i should take it come go back to 215 guys so guys then i was dating a guy the guy was cute the guy was fresh we were enjoying like the guy was the one taking care of me that is the major re reason you need to stick to to this video the major reason why you need to watch this video so you work hard for yourself so you will not depend on a guy okay okay so i was dating this cute guy the guy was working the guy have money then i was still in nigeria so the guy was taking care of me the guy was giving me money then i wasn't working nice me all over to his place and we'll spend time there and just share and relax do what boyfriends and girlfriends do it was cool since the day the whole thing happened I went to his place and i think i spent spent a day there and I said i'm going back home and he didn't say anything he was like okay if you want to go back home okay it's fine it's cool i went back home i slept the next day on monday morning so we didn't talk throughout that on sunday because i know the guy is a busy person so he don't normally have time to stay on call morning tonight so the guy is busy so i understand that point because i've been with him for long to understand those things so that wasn't an issue so we didn't talk throughout that on sunday morning and on monday i woke up I said okay let me go to work and get into the uh get into my working place i called him to tell him that ah baby good morning how you guys how are you doing like those sweet stuff and my guy didn't pick up <laughs> my guy didn't pick up i was like okay maybe he's busy let me give him time that day passed the next day i called him. so i called him he didn't pick up and i was like okay what's going on what's up so i was like okay maybe he's still busy maybe he went to work and something happened that's the reason he's not picking his call i didn't know my guy was tired my guy couldn't say he that he's tired of me <laughs> so guys i tried calling him multiple times but he didn't pick up i said okay it's fine so one week passed two weeks like i went to his place and they said he don't live there anymore I was like, okay, don't leave it anymore. Why? I don't understand. And the woman told me he pack out, he pack out of the house, and they don't know where he lives now. So I said, okay. I went to his family house to check if the guy was there. And getting there, I didn't meet his mom at home. I met his junior sister, and I was asking, where is your brother? And he said, he's not here. That uh, they don't even know where he's staying now they had the pack out of the house he was staying before i didn't know they were all lying they were all lying <laughs> so i said okay no problem i went home and i keep calling him he didn't pick so months two months three months later i met up with his friend along the the, the road and meeting his friend i start asking the guy who is your friend and he said ah is at home i said which home he said okay sorry i he didn't tell you he packed us of their house he's living before now he have his own house i said wow that's nice but is he keeping it for me i was like okay what's going on so i said oh let me take let me take you there and we got there guess what guys guess what we got there and 
I saw a girl. His ex girlfriend, which I know is his ex girlfriend. I know the girl before. He told me the story what's happened between him and his girl, and I was like, okay. Sometimes he, the girl will come over to his place, and he will say that this is the ex girlfriend I told you about. She's just here to do some stuff. I was like, okay, it's fine. I didn't see it as anything stupid me. I didn't see it as anything. <laughs> okay. God. So guys, went to his place now, his new house, and I met the girl. The girl was pregnant. I was like, okay. What's going on? What's, what's going on here? I'm, I'm confused. And uh, his friend asked, where is your husband? I was like, husband? Whose husband? <laughs> This is the guy I've dated three years and eight months. Mm. So he's, I asked if, if his friend has raised the husband. I was like, okay, what's going on here? So went, yeah, so he said, ah, he's inside. And we went inside and I met up with the guy. I was like, I've been calling you. You have not been picking my call because I don't want, I was thinking maybe something happened. I was thinking maybe he's passing through stress. Maybe something happened. I wanted to hear from his mouth what is what was going on. So I didn't put anything in my head. I didn't put anything dirty in my mind. So I met up with him and I, as a, I hope you are okay. I've been calling you now for the past four to two months now you have not been picking i hope all is well at least if you are passing through anything you could tell me you can you can confide on me confide in me and tell me what is the issue like i'm your girlfriend for christ's sake so what's going on and the guy told me as you can see i'm fine i said okay why why are you not be picking my call and the guy told me and eh, i don't know how to tell you my ex girlfriend is pregnant. Whew. That's hard. Guys, I don't know where hot tears came from, but suddenly hot tears just roll out of my eyes. Like, okay. When did all this happen? When did this happen? Like, I don't understand. He said, eh. Uh, I, um, I don't know how to tell you it was a mistake guy was a mistake and the girl is pregnant now and the girl refused to abort it I said okay can you how did this happen and he told me and uh, the girl came over to his place and uh, she, uh, he came with his junior sister because the girl and his junior sister they were friends so he said he came with his junior sister and they sat down they were just in watching movie and the junior sister went out so something happened the girl got pregnant that was the first time and the girl got pregnant and she asked the girl to abort it but the girl said she's not going to abort it so she so he don't know how to tell me so that's why he didn't pick up my call oh my goodness let me know what you would do that moment let me know what your reaction would be that moment are you going to just take on and boom or you are just going to <clears throat> Come on, let's fight. <laughs> Guys, I was shut off when I couldn't say a word. Tears just started rolling out of my eyes. I was just like, okay. Why all this? Like, we are dating. You tell me there was nothing going on between you and the girl. She's your ex. She's your ex. What she did to you, you could never see yourself forgiving her again. And now she's pregnant. The guy started explaining it was a mistake. It was this, it was this, it was this, it was this. Many, many story. Many rubbish story. I don't know. <laughs> so guys, like, I, I just tell his friend, I'm going. Let's go. And his friend, okay. When I got home, guys, for good three days, I couldn't eat. For good three days, I couldn't sleep. Guys, I was crying. I was crying to the extent I couldn't eat. Like, if I have food in my hand, the tears would just start dropping inside the food. Oh my goodness, it was that bad. Like, stupid me. Like, come on, hard break. You don't feel take. Come on, hard break. You don't feel just... <sighs> 
so the first day i went to work and i was still crying so the owner of the shop came to me and asked me what's going on i didn't tell her i was just not ready to say anything my friends keep calling me my friends keep asking me what's going on why are you crying why are you crying like i i didn't say a word i was just there later i tell her i later i tell the owner of the shop and i tell my friends that i think i want to go back home and uh, the owner of the shop no, now tell me no you can't go back home don't worry you can go to my house if you want or don't do anything at the shop today just <laughs> sit down take your time so I was there crying and she was scared later she started calling the boy because she not the boy <laughs> so guys she started calling the boy like okay let me call your boyfriend what's going on and she started calling the boy the boy couldn't pick and later when the boy not picked the boy said hello was hello precious and uh, the woman said it's not precious it's me a madam she have been crying this morning and I don't she don't know why I'm crying so the boy then said her eh, I'm coming let me come and let me come and see her and when the boy now come the old thing just skyrocket in my head why are you here why are you here I don't understand that was when I start yelling I start spilling everything like how could you do this to me we have dated for three good years and eight months this is how you could pay me back this is what i deserve like i was just starting rubbish i was not yelling <laughs> so that was how my mother now understand that whoa they don't serve a get breakfast mm. <laughs> so guys that was when my mother now started telling me it's okay they don't want it you need to be guided like guys do these things every time like they break up with girls every time you just need to be guided you just need to understand the kind of guy you are dating and i, and I was telling you we wasn't fighting there was no issue we we're cool we we're fine i don't know where this whole thing came from and the woman now started advising me and by the way this guy was the one taking care of me the work i was doing there wasn't paying me i was apprentice there was no paying me <laughs> so guys like i passed through hell like my mother was the one that giving me money later man my auntie will sometimes give me money that was how i was not surviving and after that guys let me tell you something that breakup make me do something stupid i wasn't taking any guy serious anymore like i would just tell the guy i don't want this one will ask me i, say, I don't want all the guys that was not asking me has i don't want i don't want any guy and i was not like okay now that i don't want to date any guy just take the money like because guys don't deserve good girl like me that was a mistake i make i'm not proud of it in my head i was thinking okay guys don't deserve me it wasn't a best decision but i'm not proud of it but it's what it is so i was doing that for a while and my friends now find that and they now start advising me like this is not the best way to handle issue by destroying yourself because of one stupid guy that doesn't want you so my friends now start advising me and at least don't do this don't do this to yourself just <sighs> gather yourself back and relax so open your heart again there is still good guys there so that was what happened and later i just tell myself i'm not ready for this i just want to relax and just take my time if i still want to date any guy i want to take my time before i start dating any guy so guys in this my story let me know what you learned from this story like the most important part that you pick something important the part that you pick something important let me know in the comment section down below and 
what the guy did do you think he's right or he's wrong or do you think the way i handled the whole issue was it was not the best way like i didn't handle it well let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because sometimes thinking about those things i'm just like guys don't want it precious you just need to be guided and when i now move to france like when i now move to france i did give guys those time to do those rubbish for me i was not guided like if I see you misbehaving, just dump your ass. But I know, like, it wasn't fair, but who cares? <laughs> guys, I'm not serious now. I'm not serious right now. I'm just joking with you guys. So, guys, let me know what you pick from this story. That was how your girl eats breakfast. That was how they serve me. Pandedium, a goosey, and pepper soup. <laughs> so guys let me know what you think in, about the story in the comment section down below and let me know your own if you could if you want to share your own experience let me know your own experience in the comment section down below like they don't ever serve you breakfast and if they don't serve you how you say handle the host thing and how did the guy bring himself to tell you what make him dump to you like after a long time let me know in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in my next video and please if you enjoy subscribe like comment share and i will see you guys in my next video